uh, I'm now going to tell you about college life at um, Marple Sixth Form College. If you came to my earlier one of these, you will know that I was a boastful swine that uh, was saying we're the greatest college of all time and uh, this will be much more neutral. Um, I'm uh, head of faculty here, I've been here for 21 years, I'll try not to um, repeat uh, uh, things that you've heard before. Um, but uh, here we go. So uh, I do need to warn you, I've got coronavirus. I'm sure you've heard this already, but I just need to tell you again, just in case you're new. Uh, don't worry about me. I had a jab. It's very uh, mild, but I might cough or something. So uh, don't worry. Um, I'm aiming this at Marple uh, uh, rather than Cheadle, uh, because even though we've got two colleges, I think because you're at Marple Hall, you're surely more interested in going to Marple Hall. But you know, you never know. So um, don't don't worry. We're basically the same college. Um, so uh, what is life like for a student at Marple Sixth Form College? Uh, so uh, I'm going to start in a very strange place. Um, I'm not going to go on about, um, you know, straight away you walk in through the door and there's a canteen and things like that. Um, I'd like to start with IAG or Information Advice and Guidance. Um, you'll see why I hope why what we're doing tonight is so important um, and why it affects um, your choices later and you know your everyday life at our college later. So I, I'm going to take you through the whole journey of becoming a student and then what it's like on a day-to-day -day level. Um, so I'll look at the enrollment process, the induction process, and then your timetable and what it's like on a day-to-day -day, um, level. Um, okay, so yeah, information, advice and guidance, um, sorry to use the word journey, like in, in this cheesy way, you've already started your journey to join the college. Um, that's what it sounds like to me, sorry. Um, but like, basically, um, the more events that you do like this, uh, I know that we're the greatest college in the world, there I go again, sorry, uh, but Go to Aquinas and see what they're like. Why not? They might have something up the sleeves that I don't know about. Um, here's a good example, just to try and be a little less biased. Um, Stockport, do T-levels. We don't. Go to Stockport for T-levels if that's what you want to do. Uh, so get that information and advice and guidance. Make sure it is the best place, just because it's around the corner from you. It might not be. Um, I don't believe it, but you know. Um, okay. Um, Get a careers interview. So I'm going to give you the ideal situation. I uh, We find that if students know what they want to be in terms of a career, they're more motivated because everything, when the, when the courses get hard, they don't mind because they know this course is going to get them to X, Y, or Z. Um, so that's why I make this nonsensical statement, uh, which you've probably heard on lots of marketing from me, sorry. Uh, but um, think ahead and plan backwards. So. Instead of saying, I've done my GCSEs and I want to do film studies and then I'll find out what I want to do later. You want to get a good careers interview, find out that you want to be a pharmacist, find out where you get that degree from, at what university, and then um, realise that doing applied science with us makes complete sense uh, because it will get you to where you want to be. It's the first step on your career. Now, unfortunately, students uh, of 16 to 17 don't know what they want to be nine times out of 10. Uh, they're often tricking themselves into thinking uh, they know. Uh, I always use myself as a great example. I'm an English teacher and a long-term manager. Uh, I've taught a bit of film studies as well, but I wanted to be an electrician at, uh, uh, at 16. So there you go. Who knows what's gonna happen to you? Uh, I'm sure mums and dads will empathize with that. Um, so uh, let's do something more realistic. Um, let's go to our website now just for a second because I think this is a more organic natural way of doing things um, students won't, won't know what they want to be and they'll go I quite like here's my example you can go to the courses uh, go to courses A to Z and let's pretend you like biology and it does a load of selling points there's some careers that it might lead to and it's more than just a course sell 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 it tells you how you assess rather than coursework it's exam uh, you go to chester zoo blah 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 um it tells you how many a's or not a's i always say a's sorry it's because i teach a level um uh, four to nine you need etc uh, but this is what i want to show you 
Um, um, if you go to this little, they, all our courses have this little function, and we pay a lot to have this on our website. Um, so you might not know what you want to be, uh, but you can go, if I do biology, I can um, go to the university and study clinical medicine and then become a medical pr practitioner and earn 73,000 pounds uh, a year. Uh, or, and like you can see, the six of 10, you just keep on flicking through and they give you a degree and uh, a career path and a starting salary. Um, some people might even go, well, I quite fancy the 73 grand a year and I'll, I'll plan accordingly. Um, um, but hopefully you'll follow your heart, kids. Um, so uh, there you go. That, that's one way of pl planning things and, and planning your curriculum that you are making for yourself. Uh, so please think of th those things because uh, if you pick the wrong path, then there's not much we can do, is there? Um, so uh, there's why information and advice and guidance are so important as well. Uh, another thing you could do is once you've gone through that process, you apply, it's dead simple to apply, as I said before, you just click on the website, fill out a form, and then there you go. Um, but um, you can book a guidance interview with us. So you come up with your mad idea, you come to see us, and we say, that's a bit mad, why are you doing that? Yeah, that'll never get you to wherever you want to be or that's a great idea and we stress test it and then we come with a come up with a really solid program for you which suits you and gets you to your next destination um, so um, the other thing you should do is in terms of information advice and guidance to really firm up this choice that you're making is come to our, our open day events in the summer or our welcome days uh, we've got uh, open day events in autumn and spring as well. I'll give you some dates for the ones in uh, su summer uh, in, in a second. Um, let me give you uh, a pretend student. We've had to change his name for data protection, uh, but he is a real student. Uh, he, um, th these are his career interests. This is how he became a student at our college and, and his gradual whittling down of his programme. So he didn't really know what he wanted to do. His um, um, careers advisor said, go and work in the BBC because you like camera stuff and computer stuff. They've got a bit of that there. Why not try that? So he had that rough idea uh, in his head. Um, and then um, he, um, this is, a, is originally sat there at home on a website. So yes. Uh, there's no help there whatsoever and you just click things that you think you might like. Now I'm just going to explain why this looks so ri ridiculous to me it, but quite normal to uh, a student that's just done 10 GCSEs. Um, so that doesn't look like a big program but it looks enormous to me. That is a program in itself that's worth three A levels. Uh, so's that, that's worth three A levels and then there's three A levels so he's got enough for three students there so he comes up to his guidance interview and has the shock of his life because we say, well, you can't, look, that's worth three. Do you like that? Um, do you really like creative media that much? Yes, I do. Oh, no, you don't. You prefer photography, media and ICT because it gets a bit of computer in there, a bit of the camera stuff that you're uh, uh, interested in. And then that's a nice mixture between uh, creative media as well. So it's a nice compromise. Why don't you do that? So we, we try and sort of guide people uh, to let them know what they're, they're enrolling on so that they stay for two years and are happy on the course and pass go. Um, so many students get these nasty surprises that the course isn't what they think it is because they haven't had this bit. So that's why I'm spending so long on it and why tonight's so important. Uh, now, interestingly, in August of that year, he enrolls on a slightly different program. Do you see these swap film studies? It's because he's met the film studies teacher that uh, um, day and really had a good talk with him uh or it could be her um so uh yeah the, you can choose later on so all the pressure you're putting yourself on now i need to uh, firm up my ideas yes you do but it doesn't have to be concrete um and in fact you've got even longer than august folks um so uh let me move on here so you, you you're supposed to choose your courses Oh, here we go again uh, from highly experienced and supportive staff. Uh, outstanding teaching. Uh, can't stop selling it. Um, what I mean here, here is like it sounds like you're committing um, uh, 
you know, you signed up for life here, and you kind of are. Um, uh, when you get to induction day, um, you should know really quite precisely what you're going to be doing. Uh, but you can still change it. Um, and the induction day, so this is your first typical day. And the thing that I want to really stress to you is that it's really hard coming to college for the first time. And we realize this, it's a lot of pressure. Um, and that's what we go for at the, the start of um, the first day. We want you to feel at home. So all those stupid questions like, where's the toilet? Can I eat here? Of course you can, there's the canteen. Um, we make you feel at home. There's no stupid questions, if you like, even though I've just said there is, sorry. Um, but we get icebreakers, meeting new people. We welcome you into the college and get you on the computer systems, give you a tour. You get to call your personal tutor by the first day. There's no uniforms, you'll like it. Um, so, um, um, that's your first day. Now, um, the induction period lasts longer than um, just a day. It's actually two weeks. And it's your chance to really make sure that those subjects are for, for you. Now, most people have had so much information, advice and guidance uh, that they choose to carry on with their courses. I'm not sure where we got the statistics for, from, but it's very, very high. It's very rare for you to change your programme, but you can. Um, so even in we're talking late September now, you might change your course. In fact, we might assess you and find that you're not doing very well on that course. And not in a horrible way, we'll talk to you about it. Do you want to have another go at the induction assessment? Do you think this course is for you? Where are you going after this course? Do you need this course? There's an easier course over here. You might have done something crazy and enrolled in further maths, which is really demanding. Um, so uh, is there an easier way to get to where you want to get to? Or do you just need a little bit more support from us? So it's not we're going to chuck you off the course or anything. It's more just making sure you're right for the course. And you want to know that you're right for the course as well uh, from our point of view. Uh, as well as your own. So you might swap around a little bit there. So there's the enrollment induction stuff done. Um, the last bit, I want to show you what it really looks like to be at our college. Um, so I've made this slide with uh, your timetable on it, but this thing here, independent study, is absolutely, unbelievably important. Um, you'll see why in a, a minute, but I just want to stress this. It's so different to school. You're at school all the time and um, you've got no free time. So you just get everything covered in school. You might do a bit of homework, but it's so much different. You really need to become a lot more mature and really get uh, into this independent study. Um, uh, and you'll see why in a second, uh, because most of the time you are not at college, as you can see from this timetable. This is an A-level timetable. And I'm sorry to um, just sort of like point out the obvious here. So unlike school, where it starts at maybe 8.30 or ends at 3.30 or whatever, it's nine till four the college day. But look at this joker's uh, life. Look at that. Two lessons there, two lessons there, three lessons there, three lessons there. You know, is it a part-time? You know, this is a full-time student, really full-time A-level program? Yes, it is. I'm afraid. Um, and let's just really look at this. So you can see nine o'clock till 10, 10, there's 70 minutes. And how many lessons do you get? Let's try English literature. You've got one, two, three, four. You get four lessons a week on three A levels if you do a three A level. Uh, so you get four and a half hours, sorry, four hours 40 a week, don't you? Um, for your A level program. Um, and then that's it. Uh, you do that three times a week, uh, giving you about 15 hours because you have this tutorial session. So most of the time you're not here. Um, and you start ridiculously late if you want to. You've got all this free time, free periods, as the students call it, when they uh, arrive at, at the college. So hopefully you're starting to realise what I said first was so important, this independent study. We've done the research and this is why our results are so great as well. If a student does six hours extra independent learning a week, then they get an A for each of their A-levels. So that, I can do simple maths. It's 18 hours extra a week, as well as your lessons. Um, now, when you, we tell the students this normally, uh, some of them have a heart attack and things like that, is because you don't understand how well you can organize yourself. Um, 
you've probably got about 17 hours of independent study that you could fit in in a college day. Okay, that includes not having a lunch, so that's not very humane. Um, I think if you work from nine till four and did about an hour, um, have a lunch hour, a little break in the afternoon and stuff like that, and be done by six o'clock, nine till six, like a normal working week, you'd walk out with three A-levels A of, of A-stars. Um, so uh, that's if you do the independent study. Now, th this is something that I really want you to understand. Like, um, I don't think this is something that, um, this comes as a shock. Um, mums and dads forget that uh, this is what college is like if they went, um, and kids aren't used to managing this amount of time. Uh, they sometimes come to see me at the start of the year and, get, and go, I've got this big break, they call it. Good, what am I going to do there? Yeah, independent study. They're study periods, not free periods. So um, you should be doing that. You get homework from every lesson. So there's something for you to do. Uh, otherwise, you're doing college wrong. Now, that's what this session's for a lot of the time. It's trying to get you to think about how you can use this time and organise it appropriately. Uh, it doesn't mean that you can't go out on the weekend and have fun, or you could work all weekend and then just hang out in college. It's your free time, as long as you put the hours in. Um, and that's the difficult thing, because they're, they're, they're used to going from nine till about three-ish, aren't they? And then maybe a tiny bit of homework. Um, so it's something that you really need to uh, work on. So it means that you can leave the campus and go into Stockport and go to McDonald's or Greg's, you know, really live the dream. Um, but you, it's more important that you manage uh, that independent study uh, uh, as well. Uh, now, that's just an A-level timetable. You'll, you'll be shocked to learn that um, in um, uh, the vocational ones, uh, you actually get two, uh, two lessons less a week week, as you, as you can see here. So you only get 10 lessons in a tutorial. And um, that's often because um, we have a day of vocational placement, not in the case of applied science, uh, but in lots of the other, um, that's what we've got here, by the way, applied science, as you can see. Um, we've got health and social care would be a really good example of this, or one of the sports programmes, you get um, a placement somewhere once a week as well. Um, so, um, yeah, it's learning to manage that time and do the independent study and be self-motivated, um, which is the big shock to, uh, uh, you know, a school leaver's um, mindset, really. But like I say, the tutorial should sort that out for you. So um, I'm running out of time, aren't I? So I'll try and wrap up as quickly as I can. Uh, and please, you know, email us with any questions and come to our open days and things like that. So college life, attend all lessons as a basic, um, but you need to work independently too. Um, you can easily complete the independent work necessary and have a part-time job, hobbies and social life with the right dedication and work ethic, which we help you foster in tutorial and in the lessons. The teachers help you as well. It's not just uh, the tutor. Um, but you, you've got to organise your own time as well and, yeah, and we can only help. We can't make you do it. And it's, that's why it's so important for your mums and dads to be aware of this as well. That, um, you know, we see it as a, a triangulation of a team of support, the, the home support, the, the college support and students supporting themselves as well. Um, so uh, don't forget how important it is to get that information, advice and guidance now from every college, every apprenticeship, every place you can do, find out now so you can make a really good plan that suits you. Um, I've probably used this metaphor earlier. I feel like I've repeated myself to death tonight. I'm sorry. Uh, after the fourth one of these, I don't know who I am. Uh, but college is a trampoline. You boing on it onto your next destination. You're here for such a brief time. So get that bounce right. Uh, and, make, and then you'll be going to the university or job of your dreams. Um, some dates for your diary before I disappear. Uh, next week, sorry, not next week, the week after, on the Monday, we've got another unfortunately virtual uh, um, open evening where you can watch lots of our videos, but ask us things on the chat or be able to respond. There'll be um, someone manning the chat. You might have even done that already because we've done a few of those or already we really wanted it to be face to face but because of the restrictions still not really loosening up um we're gonna have to do it virtually again unfortunately uh, we just can't wait for you to be able to come in and actually sample the 
absolutely wonderful atmosphere that we've got in our college and meet our friendly approachable staff it's just really something special and it's so annoying um sorry i need to calm down a bit on that don't i um so um yeah just last bits for you for your diaries uh, just so that you see how the shape of the year starts so we enroll in late, late august and we we start it's probably a bit too far ahead for you this but we we start in uh, induction in, in um, uh, really reasonably mid to early uh, September and then you've all been inducted by the last couple of weeks of September so that you can uh, make your final choices and confirm that you want to do these courses for the next two years um, yeah, you have kind of covered that. Um, so uh, just one last thing, no matter what happens in your GCSE results, we've got a course for you. Uh, if you change your ideas after a guidance interview and things like that, you can still change your mind in enrollment and even possibly after induction a little bit as well. Uh, so all um, I need to say now is thank you for listening and good luck with your uh, results.